Right guys, so we decided it's time to do something on the van because we've not done something for a while. Glorious weather, so we're going to install our Sky uh, Air Max fan. That's as far as I've got, don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so the first bit, we've got to build a wooden frame around the, the base and cut it into measurements, but the most important bit is getting a little barbecue going. Basically, it took me about three hours to build this frame. So this is going to go on the inside of the van so that when you screw through these holes, it's going to nip onto the van. And um, yeah, it took so long because basically the wood was all twisted and warped. So it didn't go the smoothest, but at the end of the day, it's done. It doesn't have to be the most secure thing. It's just to help it nip tight together and enough work for it to install it. So today is the day that we're going to cut a hole in the van roof that goes around the inside of our van, provide support, and then we're cutting out uh, a bit of cardboard that is 40 by 40, uh, and that's the size of the hole you'll need. So we basically done little pilot holes in the corner of the cardboard, and then we found out where the middle is, measuring diagonally and measuring across each way. Find out the middle, pop that on where you want to uh, install and then go up through the middle and then you've got a pilot hole on the roof um, and then you can basically f measure across from there so you know when you're on the roof where the middle is. Let's do that. Is we've put some masking tape on the roof so that when we draw our line down we can clearly see where it is on the roof. So we're having to do it in this position of our van because we've already got a hole that we want to cut out which is why we're choosing to do it about there which is slightly off centered so there's less room here than there is here because hopefully if we ever want a solar panel it can go on the roof at the side of the van and then here in the middle i've made sure that there's 20 centimeters 20 centimeters from all of it and then the same 26 i think from each corner so we know that this is the middle of our thing so we're going to put our pencil up make a little circle hole there where my pencil mark would be and then drill a pilot hole up to the roof then take everything up to the roof and then measure 20 centimeters from that hole and it will line up perfectly with the inside. We're about to drill our first hole in the roof. So we now have put a little bin bag up on the roof like everybody does so that when we're uh, cutting out the roof all the metal shards fall into the bag rather than on the floor. I've put masking tape down, draw my pencil line and then I've just put some red electrical tape just so I can see it better. So here is our hole that we drew in the middle and I have had a ruler, uh, a right angle square, a tape measure and a different measure. So I've used like four different versions of measuring. So 20 centimeters from here to here and it'll be the same from there to there. Gone along and along. So obviously it's 20 centimeters then. Make sure get your tape measure or tape and make sure that it's 40 centimeters from there to there on each corner and then from there to there. And if it's 40 centimeters all the way along, then it should be square and you're off. You're good to go. And I've just drilled some 2.5 mil uh, little holes. In fact, I think there were two because they didn't have a two in the shop. Some holes and then I'm gonna put a bigger drill bit now. So I'm gonna drill uh, the corners out a little bit bigger so that I can get my jigsaw piece in. The, um, the jigsaw wasn't really working very well. It kept on gripping and spitting the blade out. So I went to the B&Q and I've got this thing. It's basically like a vibrating uh, tool instead, multi-tool. So put a little blade on rather than going back and forth this thing. Yeah, vibrates and look at the neat job it's done. So all these metal filings they're obviously bare metal, so they're going to rush your van. So it's really important that you get them off the top, otherwise you'll end up with patches like this, where it goes rusty. How does it look? Looks like it fits. Okay, so we've cleaned the top of the van, and uh, here is our hole. So what we're going to do now is there's a little sharp. It's actually cut really clean, but there are a few little sharp edges. So we're just going to file that up so it's nice and smooth, and then put this putty tape around the edge to build up to these little lips. Going well. Gone around the edge with our file and uh, just made it all nice and smooth so you're not going to cut yourself. Um, and then now I'm just going to put some rubbing alcohol around the edge and then put our putty to build up the gaps between these divots so it's got somewhere to sit flush. 
and cutting the tape into half down the middle to little strips and you can see obviously this is higher so what I'm having to do is build this up with layers of tape so that the tape comes to the right height flush to there. Okay so I've messed up a little bit so I started putting the putty on realized I've not put the paint on so I'm having to put the white hammerite to protect the bare metal to make sure you don't forget that spot because I might have missed some little rust patches which might come back in the future um, and then I need to put this wooden frame on but obviously I'm going to clamp it to it but I've already put the putty on so I might be clamping on top of the putty so I'm not sure how it's going to work but at the moment I'm just going to put I've just got um, Sikaflex EBT um, so I'm just going to put a bead of this all around my wood, put the wood up, clamp it down so that when I screw I've got something to screw into on the flange. Uh, I've left a little gap here as well because obviously I didn't want to be drilling through this so I know I'm definitely clear and we'll just put a little bead of insulation and foam boards there. So yeah, I just clamped that quickly to the roof. Like I said, I made a mistake because obviously all the putty I've already started putting on. Um, but other than that, hopefully the flange fits in. Again, I've got a little lip there where it's a bit mismeasurement. So hopefully that that fits okay and doesn't become a problem. So just let this dry now for a little bit. And once that's dry, finish um, building it up with the putty and then hopefully we can put the box on and screw all that down. Putting the putty on, make sure that you like blend it together because it molds together. So make sure it's all one continuous bead and that it's stuck to the van. Here we are, the putty is being put on, all built up around. It's not the neatest job in the world, but everywhere looks about level. So we're now gonna put the thing on and push it down. So we've managed to get all the screws in, but one, when they tighten up, obviously the black stuff has started to uh, goo, started, you know, the, as I'm tightening up, the black stuff started to goo out a little bit. So I'm just going round and just trimming off that little bit of excess, ready for a nice neat line so that I can uh, silicone it all in and make a nice neat job of it. So I'm now going to put some masking tape around the edge to make it nice neat, silicone around, silicone on top of the screws, drop the bit down and screw it together and I think we're done. Let's do that. Okay, so I've put a bead of Sikoflex all around the edge, put a bit of masking tape down and then get a glass of water, dip your finger in the water and then run it along so it doesn't stick to your finger. And then after a few minutes you can then pull up the masking tape and it leaves you with a nice clean edge instead of a mess. So let's do that now. There it is with silicone all around the edge. Right away. Just nice clean line of silicone all around the edge making there's no holes in it. And uh, now we'll put a blob on all the screws. It's in. It's the grand opening. Yeah. All the silicone round, the screws are in. Whee! And there you are, it is finished, all siliconed, all attached, all done, the fan is in. There's just four more screws, one, two, three, four, to do at the end, which we've just done. And that's it, all done, jobs are good and I'll show you from the inside. And here we are, this is what it looks like from the inside. So we've got our wooden frame up, the fan is in, obviously our wires are going to go through a little hole there, um, you can manually twist it up and, uh, and the little case will go on top and then eventually our blinds will show you that when it's finished. So there we have it guys, it's all connected up temporarily, up she blows, um, so yeah, impressed, it's all done, that's enough for today, signing off, peace.